Hi, thanks for stopping by. This is Boardroom to Bounce House, and my name is Kanna. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Road Coat by One Kid. So if you didn't already know, it is unsafe to put your baby or toddler in a big bulky coat and then put them into their car seat. And the reason for that is that it just creates a lot of excess space between the strap in their car seat and their actual body. So if they're wearing a big bulky coat and something were to happen, you were in a car accident, there's gonna be a lot of slippage and slidage, that jacket could be compressed, and it's just not giving them the snug fit that they need while they are in the car seat to keep them safe. I think this is something that's overlooked a lot because people just don't think about it. I personally had no idea until I became a mom that that is something that you just don't do. You don't put kids into a car seat with their coat on. So if you live in a colder climate, this can obviously pose a challenge, especially if you are really busy and you're running all over, you're doing a lot of errands, you're doing drop off and pick up. I am a working mom. I drop my kids off in the morning. They have to be picked up in the evening. I'm usually always, you know, <laughs> racing to get them to the next thing. And our weekends are really busy as well because we usually end up doing a ton of errands. We're trying to just fit a lot in on the weekends. So it's not uncommon for us to be getting in and out of the car quite often. And at first I started just using a warm blanket, putting big blankets over the kids. I would heat the car up before we would get into the car. That sort of posed a challenge as well, especially when they were littler and we lived in more of an urban setting. We lived in DC and we couldn't really just start our car and then leave it running on the road with the keys in the ignition. So it just posed a lot of challenges and I started looking for a solution for a way where they could keep warm and have a consistent coat on but also be safe. And that is when I discovered the road coat from one kid. I stumbled upon it on the internet actually just from doing a Google search but I wanted to just do a little bit of an unwrapping today, show you a little bit more about the coat, talk about it a bit, and I really do give this 10 stars. I absolutely love these coats. Like I said, I used them all last winter. I don't think I will ever take my kids out of this coat until they are out of car seat. Especially now, we are not allowed in our kids' schools right now, so when we go pick them up, they are already bundled up, hats, jackets, all that good stuff. And so it, we're just walking them right out to the car and putting them in. I don't want to have to be taking off their coat and putting on something thinner like a fleece or something like minimal to be under the straps of their car seat. So this just works out really, really well. And I'm going to go ahead and take it out of the packaging. This is the coat in the Raptor print and it has little pockets in the front right here. So there are little pockets. And then when you unzip the coat in the front, there's Velcro. So you Basically, you undo the Velcro, and then underneath, when you undo the Velcro, you can see there's like this area right here where it has um, like a non-slip surface. And so this is where your straps are actually gonna go when your kid is in the car seat, and this is basically making it so it's not slippery and you know exactly where your straps are gonna be. And then if you unzip it, that's where you're actually you know, zipping them up in the coat. So you put it on them, you zip it up, and then when they're outside of the car, you can fully bundle them up with these Velcro straps. And then when they get in the car, all you have to do is put them in the car seat, you remove this outer layer, but you keep this part zipped up, and the straps go right over it. So it just makes it super, super easy because now they have a very thin layer between them and the car seat, and not all this big, bulky, hooky air right here. The other thing that's great is in the back of the coat, there, it's double, basically like double hooded. So you have your regular part that would go like around their neck, which this does have a hood built into it. So if you undo this, there's a built in hood, which I love because you just never know when it's gonna be raining, you can take the hood out. And then this portion back here is a second layer where you can actually unstrap this. And this again is where the seatbelt is gonna go. So you don't have to worry about all this big bulky stuff getting in between your kiddo and their car seat. So this right here is the vegan coat and the vegan one does have 100% polyester synthetic insulation on the interior and it does have the Velcro closure that I showed you about earlier. It also has the hood that you can stow away and all of the coats do come with a little bag that you can store them in in the off season or if you just need to put it in a backpack, it will fit in here and it will compress to this size. That is how I stored my road coats last year, was in those bags. And the vegan one has a temperature rating of up to negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit. And if you're in Canada or somewhere else that does Celsius, um, that would be negative 25 degrees Celsius. Really warrant itself to colder climates. 
without it being super, super heavy and super, super big. You can also get this road coat in other temperature grades and other styles. So if you need it to go to just um, a little bit colder, you could get the Arctic version of this coat. If you get the Arctic version of this coat, you're gonna be able to go to negative 31 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 35 degrees Celsius. Or you could opt to do the road coat transition if you're in a warmer climate than I am. And that would take you to a rating of 30 degrees Fahrenheit or zero degrees Celsius. So it just kind of depends on what climate you're in, has tested and passed all of the CPST tests, as well as the National Highway Traffic and Safety Administration has given this a big thumbs up of approval. So if you are interested in picking this coat up, again, I would suggest shopping the sales, maybe picking it up on Black Friday. But if you can't wait till then, or if you already missed that sale, I do have a discount code linked down below that will give you 10% off your first order. So definitely go ahead and check that out. You can shop with confidence knowing that you will get flat great shipping and you do have a 30 day money back guarantee. Yes. Yeah. So I looked back at my order from last year. I'm looking here on my computer and last year I did order the vegan jacket for both of them. I got both of them the airplane print and I, like I said, ordered them during Black Friday. They shipped almost immediately. They shipped within like two days of me ordering it, which was awesome. 135 for two coats last year. So they were about, they were 67.99 and then of course I paid tax. So this past season I ordered my coats in early March for pre-sale. And because I ordered it pre-sale, I got this coat for $79.99, so I did pay a little bit more than the Black Friday price. However, I also got a free with purchase vegan vest. So same exact coat, but with no sleeves, and I got that in black, and that is what my son has been wearing, you know, as the temperature has started to change this fall, he's been wearing that vest, which I think was a great buy. I mean, I basically, again, got two coats for $89. So I did get a pretty good deal doing the pre-order sale. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope it gave you just a little bit more information about this awesome coat. If you decide to purchase it, I'd love to hear about your experience. Go ahead and drop me a comment down below. Thank you so much for checking out my channel. I really do appreciate it. I hope you will watch another video and get a little bit more of a sense of what Boardroom to Bounce House is all about. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. If you like product review videos, definitely tell me that in the comments. I always love to hear from you. What do you wanna see on my channel and was this video helpful?